nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello. So I haven't played for a long time, and because I have been gaming, computer gaming, and I will try, I will start to play pool. But I got a, I got a very good idea. People, people got my YouTube fans got a very good idea that I will need to do some break and runs. So I will start a brand new series, break and run nine ball. Okay, so time to dust off the magic rack. Where is it? Here is the magic rack. And I'm going to use the nine ball rack here because I have two, two of these racks. And I will take this nine ball rack, place it the shiny side down. No, shiny side up. Shiny side up, okay. Then the balls glide better when you break. Let's, let's start. Okay, so I'm going to play nine ball. I will not play ten ball because if I'm going to break the balls, it, it becomes very difficult with ten ball. But if you practice normally, you practice normally by spreading spreading out the balls, then you should play ten ball always, not nine ball. But when you break, when you break, then you get problems on the table. So you want to make it. I, I will I will just play nine ball to make it easier for me. Okay. And it is very difficult to make a break and run in in a nine ball. If you if you make very soft uh, if you make soft breaks. So where should I place the rack? I, I will probably just put it on this, this side of the table. Uh, I might, if I break too hard, I might um, damage the window, okay, if it, my window is over there, so I'll just do soft breaks for now, okay, I don't want, I don't want to repair, rep, repair the window, okay, so now let's start with the nine ball here, so, the, yeah, so now it, because you got the idea that uh, I'm going to play some break and run. I will play break and run nine ball. You need to wait an extra time in the beginning of every video. Two minutes, three minutes, three minutes until I get started. You see that you should not practice uh, the the break break and run because you lose you, you lose three minutes that you could use for shooting the balls but instead I just took out the magic rack I racked the balls I lost a lot of time so but I'm going to show you anyway if if you're going to play a tournament then you need to know the break shot so I'm going to start I will teach you how to win so I like to place. Uh, you can't see me if I'm breaking over there, but so I will break from over here. Just place the ball, one ball with it from the rail, and there you go. Just shoot it, sh shoot it uh, full, and the one ball is going to, going to come over here somewhere into position. So you want to you want to stop the cue ball in the center of the table using a little draw shot. If you shoot sh soft, like that. Ooh. Now I have position of the one. I got this ball is clean, so it drew back too far. I should should not have used so much uh, draw on that shot. And now with very tough position here, very tough. How can I get to the to the two ball over here? How can I get there? Very tough shot. I think the only way is to use extreme right speed. Okay. Extreme uh, top right spin, hit the rail there, there, and get position for the two. And I will probably miss this shot, but if I miss, I'm going to leave him snookered. So the one ball might stop somewhere here, and the cue ball over here. So this is a, a defensive shot that uh, if I make it, 
I can run the rack. Okay. Top right speed. There you go, a defensive shot over here. There you go. Yeah, opponent has a very tough tough shot here. It is makeable here, but you, you can't draw back the cue ball from the from the one ball. It will scratch in the side. And the only way is to just hit the point with the cue ball there. Hit the point, come up this way, impossible shot, but there's nothing else. And there's also uh, uh, you can go if you if if you use left spin you can go around the table. But you need to shoot hard for that, and then you are going to hit the point anyway. If you shoot hard on this shot, so might as well go for it. Just hit the point there, come with the cue ball somewhere here. That is the only only way you can do this, other than making a making a bank shot into the corner. Maybe the bank shot is okay as well. Yeah, I will make the bank shot. Maybe play a defensive shot here. Uh, so if I miss the shot, the cue ball will go over here. Come up somewhere here for a safety if I miss the shot, and you can also use a norm. You can also make a normal safety here, but I don't like to make a normal safety if we, if I'm going to miss this. Okay, I don't want to miss the shots. So when you make a safety, you miss the shot. So it is the opponent's turn. I want to make. I want to be able to make the ball in some way. <laughs> Try to make the ball, and if you miss, no problem. Is the microphone on? Yeah. I can't see it so good with this mask and it's so shiny, sun is shining. So always if you're going to go for a safety, try to make the ball. And then get you get the safety anyway. And if you make the ball you can continue, okay? That is my advice here. So I make a I, I make a bank shot into the corner and left spin on the cue ball. L left spin. Try to try to avoid the double hit here. So uh, left spin, double hit. Oh. <laughs> I hit it. I double hit a very very little bit of the one ball I hit with the cue ball. So yeah, now it is the opponent's turn. Can should you make a normal safety here? Boring, boring safety. No. You want to go for it, okay? You want to go for it. Nor normally, p players just hit the one ball there, stuff the one ball here, cue ball over there. But I want to go for it, okay? What fun is it if I'm going to miss the ball? So I'm just going to go for the bank shot. Make the bank shot here. If I miss the shot, one ball will, will be stuck. Will stop here anyway, okay? Hit the seven there, stop there, cue ball over there. So I want to start the cue ball. When, when the cue ball goes to, to this uh, direction, it will go too too far away if, if if you miss those balls. But I think I'm going to miss. I, I think I'm going to hit any of those balls over there with the cue ball and get lucky. And I might I might get a good shot on the two ball in some way. And the one ball will, will be over here anyway. So let's make a draw shot here with a lot of right spin. Okay. Right speed, hit the, hit the rail somewhere there, and then hit the three ball or the uh, two ball or the nine. Get get somewhere there with the cue ball, okay? Here, low right spin. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I, oh, look at that, safety. There you go. You see that? Yeah, almost a safety. You see that I, I went for the shot, I missed the shot. Cue ball went over here. Tough, tough for the opponent. Okay. I'm going for every shot here and I'm making a safety at the same time. That's very nice. Improving my odds of winning. No, no boring safeties here. Just go for it every time. Here's a, here comes a tough shot. Oof, I hit the, did I hit the camera here with the sofa? Sofa. Uh, I I moved. The, I think I moved the camera with the with the sofa over here. I need to stand on the sofa, rolling sofa, when I make this chat. Okay, so here the only way is to use top top right speed to go come around the table. One, two, three rails. Come up somewhere here. So yeah, top uh, right spin. <coughs> Whoop, that was a tight pocket there, you saw that. 
That was very tight, that pocket. Now I, I will cut it into a side. Problem here is the seven is in the way, so I can't make it the normal position shot here because the seven is in the way. I need to go this way. And I could also, of, co of course, I could go like this, but too, too dangerous to the, to the corner pocket. I don't like that. But I, that, that would be a very nice shot. And if I miss this shot, if I hit the seven on the way, I might scratch here. So that's a da dangerous, dangerous shot over here. But much safer to go this way. Come up this way with the cue ball. Maybe hit these balls, but much better to hit these balls than to uh, scratch in the corner. So I will, I will do that. That's the right spin. And I might also hit the rail here and hit the seven here and then come up, come up this way with the cue ball. There's also an alternative, a possibility that, that can happen. And I, I'm aware of that, so that would be good anyway if I hit the seven. But I, I will try to miss the seven here, come up this way with the cue ball. Okay, that's the right spin. And I missed the shot, you see, ooh, I would have I would have actually hit the seven there if I had made it. So I'll do it again. Let's do it again. Hit it in there this time. There you go. I cheated the pocket there. Ah that was a, a bit unlucky there, so should have should have shot it a little harder. I'm gonna do it again, I wanna do it again. This is what I want to teach you, okay? I have to teach you as well. Yep, right spin. Now I hit it. Oof, I hit it way too thin. I want to show what is possible when you make this, this shot. And you see that every shot I make, I don't scratch in the corner. I, I, I don't risk. And I don't risk, risk the scratch when I choose this uh, this shot over here. Okay, no risk of the scratching here. Yeah, you could also, of course hit the hit the rail here, hit the seven there, and then scratch. But the seven is a little further away from the rail, to, so it is not really that it is it is not really possible to scratch. Or hitting the, hitting the bottom side of the seven if it's if it's further away from the rail. So it's, it was something like this, yeah. Okay. Yeah, something like that it was, yeah. Right spin. There you go. And now hit the seven there. You see, you saw how close it, it was to the seven. Perfect position there. Perfect. If it had hit the seven, cue ball would have ended up going going this way. That way, position for the two ball over here. Yeah. So I, you could succeed on the, on that shot in two ways. You need to be aware of all the possibilities of what can happen. Now let's continue. And now, yeah, I have a good shot on the two ball here. I can go uh, between the 9 and the 3, come up there, but might be a little tight, might be a little tight. So I think I would rather hit the red there, come up somewhere here, I, I would force it with the, uh, I would shoot, uh, shoot hard on the 2, force it into the rail, come up here, position somewhere in this area, because I have a large area here for the 3 ball, instead of a very tight, tight uh, passage here, and a sh small area to stop. Ah, my wall is in the way now. There, I need some speed. Now I get some speed, okay? Force it like that. Good position no matter what happens, okay? So that's, that is something you can learn from. Instead of going the, instead of going, instead of going a tight, uh, tight between the balls, you go further away into a safe place. Now position on, on the, Four ball it will be in the side pocket here because I don't see anything else here. Just a soft roll with the top top left spin. Hit the rail there. Come up here. 
normally you would go two rails around the corner here, but the eight is in the way, so you, you can't do that. So I would just use top left spin here. And uh, I hit that little bit too, too thick, but that is okay. Now I'll draw back in, in, to, the, to this uh, rail here. Play position. I want the, this angle on the on the six to come up from the seven. Use a draw shot with left spin. Uh, with the left left spin, you want to slow down the cue ball on the rail. Otherwise, the cue ball will go too too far. Okay, so low left spin. Uh oh, this is nine ball. No call shots here, lucky, lucky shots. So I can continue. Here, okay, here's a, here's a secret I will tell you. If you can't reach the bottom side to make a draw shot like that, you can use a lot of left spin, outside spin, and the outside spin will act like a draw shot. Chop the cue if you use a lot of spin. I'm using a little more side, sideways motion of the of the job when I'm going to use extreme spin, so sideways like that, that will cover more of the sides of the tip. Okay, a lot of left spin on this shot, like that. That was a draw shot over there. Ooh, very nice shot. Normally, the cuba would have gone that way, would have hit the seven for sure if I did not use uh, left spin on that shot. That's a great, great shot you can learn to really, really maximize the chance of winning. You, instead of, instead of uh, trying to elevate the cue to get draw, you can use outside spin. Very good secret there. On this shot, uh, it might be tricky because you will scratch it aside if you go, if you go the normal, normal path. If you go that past one rail, two rails, you might hit the hit the nine on the way out. You don't want that either. So I would like to go this way with the cue ball, back and forth, come come out somewhere here with, for the for the eight. Okay, so low low left, low right, low right spin like that. Yeah, perfect. There you go. That's a perfect shot there. Now I can make a draw shot. Uh, I can, if I make a draw shot, you often end up coming up too short and stopping the cuple here, when you should go here, okay? And so in some, some cases you want to use, uh, you want to go around the table, one, two, three rails. So stop somewhere there for the nine, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit too full on the, on the, on the eight ball, so I might, I might hit the nine on the, way, on the way out from the rail here. It's a tricky shot. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, yeah, I'm going to use extra left spin to, to, to do that, to go around the table. Extra left spin there. Yeah, you see, I, I missed the nine because I used extra spin. I stopped close to the rail here. I would have liked to hit the rail and come out a little bit there, but that is fine as well. So, uh, many, many. There's a, there's a, I had a big area to start the cue ball in, very big area. Come on, I, I came too short, I could have gone longer here, good shot on the nine. But if I had show, chosen the draw shot I, and I came too short, then I would lose the game, probably. And then, so I had a very small area to start the cue ball in, if I had se selected the draw shot. But now, I selected cor correctly, I had a good shot on the nine ball. And then the game is over. Well, that was a nice, uh, nice uh, rack there. It was not not a run out, but I, I thought do some stuff. Do I have do I have time for another rack? Maybe I can make another rack here. This, this is the first first video of of these uh, break and runs here. But I haven't played for a couple of weeks, so I'm going to teach you how to play with the strategy, how you, how you can win with strategy and not with skill. So that's a good good opportunity here. 
that I can, I can teach you. So here I'm having a, just a hair of the bottom spin. Half a tip of draw on, on this shot. There we go, let's see. Yeah, so let's say that, that was the opponent who broke the balls and now it is coming becoming a little tricky here with the two ball over there. And uh, now yeah, like I said, don't make a safety, okay? But maybe on this this uh, shot you should make a safety and try to break open the seven there with the one ball. That is also possible, but uh, I, I can't really make a good safety from, from uh, with the cue ball. Where will I place the cue ball? Okay, maybe behind the five is a tricky shot. To place it behind the five. Yeah, I'm going to hit. I'm going to need to hit the one ball too thin. Might hit the hit the eight ball a bit there. If I draw it back. Yeah. So okay. So I'm going to just hit the hit the eight ball with the one ball. Okay. Hopefully it will break open the problem there. And the keyboard will come up over here for the safety. So I want to fix some problems here. Low left spin. There you go, a safety behind the five. Yeah, I did not succeed here, so did not succeed. So that's, that is the reason. I don't want to just make a safety if you if you fail the safety you, you get get the you give the opponent a free free shot and you, you don't have any any chance of winning when you make a safety. I will do it again, I will select something else. Try to select an, another way to do this shot. And the other way is to of course make a bank shot. Make a bank shot. Uh, and then break open the problem. But, but how, what about the safety? Okay, if, if you're going to shoot hard, the cue ball can go all, all over the place, and you don't, you might leave the opponent an easy shot if you do that. So, if you're going to go for something, you want to shoot soft at the same time. Shoot soft. And the one ball, it, it can't, go, can't go in the side pocket over there, it's too tight. So, uh, yeah. I, I need to go for it. I need to go for it and make the bank shot in the side. Use a lot of left left spin on the cue ball. I think the one one ball was over here, maybe something like that. Yeah, and cue ball goes here. Cue ball will go this way, and then you use left spin on the cue ball to change the angle from the rail and hit the cluster. And you should get, get, get stuck there with the cue ball if you're lucky. And if I would hit this seven thin, then the cue ball would come up over here and then the opponent would have a good easy shot after. So you don't want that to happen. You want to use a lot of left spin. Try to make the cue ball get stuck with these balls there if, if you miss this uh, uh, bank shot. It was over here, I think, yeah. There you go. Last of left spin here and try to shoot soft as soft as possible. I, I hit this. Oh, I hit this. That is what I was worried about. I hit the two. I hit the one or too thick. Too thick. Let's do it again. Something like that. Yeah. Hit the one ball thinner. If you shoot softer on a bank shot. You need to hit it hit thinner because otherwise the ball will end up going too far, too far down. So you need to shoot thinner if you shoot softer, like that. But oops! I now I hit the now I hit the eight ball there. Got to shoot harder. And that, this was a very tough shot, very aggressive shot. But yeah, because I did not hit any of those balls, the the opponent will not have anything easy. Okay. That's the point here, that if, if you succeed in hitting those balls, you're going to get, get stuck with the cue ball there, so the opponent has a, has, has a tough shot. But if you miss those balls, opponent still has a tough, tough uh, layout on the table. Okay, so I'll do the kid. Shoot harder this time. And because I shot harder, I hit the three ball. And okay, so let's... 
Uh, now, the, the Fortnite really doesn't have any, anything easy here because the cluster is still here. Okay, you, you can't do, do anything. So you might as well go for go for this shot, like like I said, go for the bank shots. Opponent doesn't have anything. Okay, he doesn't have anything to, to do. I'm gonna go for the bank shot again. Ah, there, there you go, is it there? Cupo is stuck behind behind this wall, so uh, if I had missed the one ball, Cupo would be stuck here. That was the point uh, in my shot here, to, to do that. And if you miss the cluster and you don't break open anything, opponent still has the cluster left. Okay, that's the strategy you want to use. And now I think I can make the two ball in the corner. Oh, it is very tight, uh, but I, th I think it can pass the seven. If I miss a shot, I'm going to hit the, the pocket on, on the right side, okay? I will cheat the pocket on the right side. And if I will miss the shot, which I maybe will, I will leave the cue ball behind, behind the three ball here. Okay? To make uh, the opponent get snookered. Okay, I will do that. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> you saw that. I hit the right side of the pocket. Cheated the pocket, it went in. I have a shot on, on the on the three ball. And if I had missed that shot, I, op opponent would have been snookered behind the three and the six. Okay. Now I have another shot here on the on the, on the three ball, and next next ball is the four ball. So now I, I have a little the, the wrong angle on the three, so the cue ball will go this way, so away from the four, and that is not good. So I will need to draw draw the cue ball back, draw it back to this way, maybe some beer somewhere here. But the problem is, how can I get to the five ball after? Okay. Five ball is a problem. Five ball is a problem. So I have there's there's another way you can make this shot, okay? With strategy. Maybe you, you can make a bank shot, okay? Bank safety. Bank safety on the four. Make a bank bank in the corner. If you miss the ball, you have a safety on the on the with the cue ball on the other side, okay? That's something you you can do as well. And. Uh, uh, if you're here on the floor, you can make a cut shot. Uh, yeah, you can make a cut shot, go around the table with right speed, one rail, two rail, three rails. If you miss the four ball uh, too thin, it will hit the rail there and then it, it will come back here. So you will get the safety that way as well. And you need to think ahead of, of, all, of those, all of those possibilities. Very important. I make a draw shot. Yeah. Very tough draw shot over here. Maybe be somewhere here. If I'm too thin on the four, I can't use enough right spin to go around the table like that. I need to go further down with the cue ball. Close to this rail, but not too close. Low uh, left spin. There you go. Perfect. That is nice. That is nice shot there. Now I can make a draw shot. I, I can either make go between those balls I can go or I can go around the table with low right spin hit the rail there 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 and go to, to the other side of the table if I miss a shot the four ball will hit the rail come back here maybe hit those balls and leave a safety okay so many many good things can happen but I think I would prefer if I go around the table this way I would need to shoot too hard and then the four ball becomes uncontrollable i don't know where where, where it will stop okay it will, it, it will be too hard a too hard velocity on the four ball so i would prefer to go between these balls with the cue ball with left spin and use enough speed so that if i miss the four ball the four ball will come up will come back to this side of the table i will use the correct speed for that and uh, yeah the scratch might be dangerous here. So I, the, the scratch is a little, little, little dangerous. So I, I will play with speed. So I will start the cue ball somewhere here uh, instead of scratching here. So I will use the proper speed with pro, pro, of the cue ball to start it somewhere here. And if I hit the, either the eight or the seven, 
I, I would come up shorter on the fire here. So that's that's very nice. That is that is the that is what can happen. So I will do that. Top left spin. Now I miss the four, you see, I miss the four. It will come to the other side of the table. Other side of the table, that was too sh too soft. But the opponent has a tough shot, so I will do it again. And because, uh, because the scratch was so dangerous there, I really couldn't shoot that, that much harder because of the scratch there. So I'm gonna do it again. Top left spin. And I hit on, I, hit, I miss it on purpose now, so. Perfect there, that's perfect. Now the four ball comes, comes to a tough place. It came back to the other side of the table and opponent doesn't have, a, doesn't have an easy shot now. Okay, so yeah, that's the strategy you want to use. So even if you play very bad, you miss the shots, you can still win. Okay, you have a good strategy. That is the point here to, of pool. Play like you are playing your, your worst. Uh, play like you have your worst day ever and then you can still win. I have 11 minutes left of recording, very nice. So I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna attempt to make the shot. There you go. Ah, there you go. Good, good shot on, on the five ball there. Yeah. What about the six ball? The six can't be made there, so I need to make the six in, in the corner over there. Now I need to play with speed. Hit the way there, come up here with speed. And I, I just don't like that. I, I would prefer to make the six in the side pocket come up further with the people, but, but the nine is dangerous. I might go too far, get snookered here. So I would just pre prefer stop the cue ball somewhere in, in this area here. Maybe stop here, I can still make a cut shot in, in the side pocket or make the six in the corner. Very good, very large area here to stop in. So I want to stop the cue ball somewhere in this area. Then I, I have many, many options to choose from. Okay. And our wall is in the way now. There you go. Whoops, that was too soft. That was way too soft there. Now I cut it into the corner. Ooh. You see, I'm playing so very bad now. I, need, I really need to use my strategy to win here. What can I do now after I messed up on that shot? I, I can't cut it in, it is too, a too thin cut. And how can I go for this shot? Uh, can I really go for this shot or, or not? I could actually maybe even... Uh, if I would hit it soft, if the table... I think the table is rolling, not rolling straight. So it's going to roll offline and into the pocket. If I shoot very soft. So you need, you need to know your table. And when I do this, I at the same time play uh, safety behind the line. So, I'm going for this shot, but make a safety at the same time. And I mean, I hit it, oh, I hit the nine there. Hit the nine. I need to go further away from the nine. Got to go further away from the nine here. And yeah, I'll do it again. That was, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was still a safety. Okay, so many players just, just play for this play the safety there, but you can play to, to make the shot as well. If the, even if, even if the six is, is not possible to make directly, you can just try to hit it soft and hope that the, the table will roll offline. And sometimes it will go in. Like that, rolling, up. now it ro rolled off to the other side, so it was not the, rolling in the, in the direction I wanted. But uh, still a safety here, still a safety. So I was going for that shot, maybe 50% chance to make that shot, depending on how the table rolls. Sometimes the table rolls to the, to the wrong side. So you, 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 you really don't know, but you can still try for it. And at the same time, make a safety like that. There you go, safety. Here, here there's a secret I will teach you. 
uh, many players just try to make a direct kick shot. Then they, they, they don't get any position on, on the next ball here. But if you make a two rail kick shot, hit the six thin, the cue ball will, uh, will go this way to the other side of the table, get a good shot on the seven ball. Okay? Just need to play with speed. So maybe hit the rail there, there, hit the six, make the six, hit the rail there, hit the rail there, there, come up here for the seven. So that is what I'm thinking about here. Okay. Uh, right, right spin. Right spin. Let's do it again. Many times you are afraid of hitting too thin, so you end up hitting too thick and scratch. I'm going to do it again. Do it again here. Yeah, that's, that can happen. You can leave a safety like that. Many good things can happen if you make a two rail kick shot because you are going to move the cue ball far away to the, to the other side of the table, even if you miss. Double, double hit there. I will show you the possibilities here. Every time I hit the, the two full, There you go. Yeah. Cue, ball, cue ball to the other side of the table. Good shot on the seven there, but I could shoot it harder than that. But at least I left a good safety there in case I missed the six. A double, double, double kiss. Safety. You can do like that. Yeah, I will do it again. The secret of kick shots is to, to do, uh, use a little bottom spin on, on this shot, together with uh, inside spin. That is the secret of kick shots. There you go, that was a shot right there. Good position on the seven. It took a while to remember how to shoot those those kick shots it was a long time since I made these. Ah there you go every time I make it now perfect three one two yeah position for the seven very nice I think I should be able to do it again just need to know how to shoot it and then you can do it many times in a row and this time I did not succeed yeah, again. Yeah, that was a close one. Right, I will try to hit it thinner. There you go, thinner and the scratch is quite dangerous there. So that's the reason I did not want to shoot too thin in the first place because of the scratch. But now I got the perfect position on the seven there. Very nice. Now I have the wrong angle on the 7, so the cue ball will, uh, will go here. So I need to use the uh, top uh, left speed, hit the rail there and come out again for the 8. Okay. There we go, it did too, yeah, too soft there. Came up too soft. I'm still okay, I can make a bank shot or I can make a cut shot in, in the side. And. Uh, what will happen if you miss the cut shot in the, in the side? The eight ball will end up coming, stopping somewhere here. In a tough place for the opponent, so I'll, I'll just go for it. Cut shot into, into the side pocket. Cue ball, one rail, two rails, three rails. Position for the nine. If I miss the eight, eight ball will stop somewhere here. And it, it, very tough for the opponent. I will do that. Uh, right spin. There, oops. Oops! I, yeah, I hit that too thick. I will do it again. But at least I made it. So if I had shot that too thin, like, like I would have missed here, then the keyboard would have gone around the table. I will shoot it too thin now. Too thin, yeah. There you go. Now the keyboard came out from, from the corner. Very good position on the nine there. So I will show you what will happen. I will show you what will happen if you miss the shot. 
what will happen if you miss this cut shot? Maybe you hit the rail first there, and then you get a tough, tough. Uh, yeah, I will try to hit the red first and start the, the six ball somewhere there. Something like that. You miss the shot. Opponent doesn't really have an easy shot over here. You see, very tough, long shot. And position is very tough to get to the nine. So now I will miss the, miss the six ball on to, to, to the other side of the side pocket. Hit it too thin. Extra right spin. No, I do it again. We'll, we'll hit it extra thin. There you go. Now you miss, it, miss the shot like that. Yeah, it was un unlucky I hit the point there, but if you miss it, miss it like that, very tough for the opponent, uh, impossible for the opponent to win from, uh, from the, with that shot. And I will show it again. I will overcut, overcut it again. There you go, overcut that. There you go. Now, safety here. You see, safety. Opponent will lose. Maybe make a kick shot there, but very tough. And I will overcut it again. Overcut it. There you go. That is, that is the shot right there. How can the opponent do anything with that shot? Nothing, okay? He can't do anything here. Even if the keeper was here, the opponent can't really do anything with, with this shot. Maybe, maybe a pro can win from here, but amateurs will lose this game. And uh, now I will show you the same shot. Hit, the, hit, hit it too thick, and you can see what will happen if you hit too thick on this shot. There you go. Yeah, this seems like a tough shot. It is a tough shot. Okay, many beginners, many beginners can can make that shot. So that was a strategy that is very useful to to use in a game. And you can, if you make the bank shot here, you don't, you really don't have anything good happening if you miss the shot. If you, if you miss the bank shot, something like this, you miss the bank shot. Yeah, you leave it for the opponent, but not, not that uh, easy shot. I will, I will do the bank shot again, if you make a bank shot. Yeah, I need, to, I need to miss the bank shot. I need to miss the bank shot. I miss, the, miss the bank shot like that, there you go. Opponent has an easy shot here. I will make the bank shot again, I will, I will, I will miss the bank shot. Miss the bank shot like that, oh, miss the bank shot. Got to miss the bank shot. There you go, miss the bank shot. Opponent has a shot here. Middle of the table. The, the cue ball doesn't have a chance of getting snookered anywhere. No way. So if you select the bank shot, you, oh, but memory card full, so I need to go. If you select the bank shot, you need, to, you need to be sure to make it. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Now the next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool.